Jeff Bangeter here with Bangeter Financial Services with the week on Wall Street for October 12th of 2020. Stocks staged a powerful rally last week, riding a wave of optimism over the prospects of the passage of a new fiscal stimulus bill. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 3.27%, while the Standard & Poor's 500 increased 3.84%. The NASDAQ Composite Index gained 4.56% for the week. The MSCI EFA Index, which tr uh, tracks developed overseas stock markets, advanced 2.23%. The anticipation of lawmakers passing a new round of economic stimulus was a decisive driver of market action all week. A midweek tweet by President Trump announced that he was ending stimulus negotiations, sent stocks lower. Losses were exacerbated by sharp declines in some mega-cap technology companies as details emerged from a House Judiciary Subcommittee report on its investigation into their competitive practices. Stocks quickly reversed direction, climbing after the President tweeted that he would sign a limited stimulus bill, but lawmakers appeared to reject a piecemeal approach. Stock consolidated on Friday, helped by continuing stimulus talks and new election polls that suggested the risk of a contested outcome appeared to be fading. The outperformance of large cap stocks related to small cap stocks has been both wide and persistent during the last 10 years. Last week's action in small cap stocks, as represented by the Russell 2000 Index, indicates that smaller companies may finally be making up some ground. Last week, the Russell 2000 index rose 6.33%, outperforming the S&P 500 by 2.4%. While this outperformance may be fleeting, a potential broadening of the stock market rally may be considered a healthy development. This week begins the third quarter earnings season, with companies from a variety of industry sectors reporting. Early earnings reports start predominantly with the major banks whose earnings result may provide insight into the general health of American consumers. As is often the case, company guidance about the future earnings may be of greater interest to investors than the past results. The, this week's key economic data, Tuesday we have Consumer Price Index, Thursday Jobless Claims, Friday Industrial Production, and then this week's Companies Reporting Earnings, earnings Tuesday we have Johnson & Johnson, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup and BlackRock. Wednesday, Bank of America, United Health Group. Thursday, Morgan Stanley. Friday, we have Slumberjay, J.B. Hunt, uh, and uh, Kansas City Southern. Um, and that's really this week for October 12th, 2020. This is Jeff Bangeter with Bangeter Financial Services, home of the fiscal bridging formula, signing off for now. Thanks for watching.